terrible timing. Ah, someone calls to you. Too late, alas. At last, I found you. Please, there's no cause for alarm. I was in the middle of a battle with an Athian. Yes, there is alarm. Though, I confess, this is not where I had intended to meet. But the place of our meeting is of no consequence. Like the war you wage. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. The better path leads you here, to me. I have need of your strength. You have to send me back now. The battle is over. The danger passed. But your work is not yet done. Go to the Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. It will serve as a beacon of sorts. One which I pray will help you on your journey. All you need do is find it. I will take care of the rest. Soon we will throw wide the gates. And the path to the first will be yours to walk at last. Ishgard? Yeah, that girl was for um, was for Tom's. You're awake, thank heavens. What happened? Do you recall the confrontation with Xenos? You were the first to come to the aid of Mistress Lys and the others on the front line. Mm -hmm. In the midst of your duel, it is said you faltered and that the Crown Prince seized the opportunity to deliver a mortal blow. Yeah, that was how far I was. Yet before his blade could find its mark, he was distracted by the arrival of a second adversary who bore you away from the battlefield and into the hands of our chirurgeons. Ooh. Lest you wonder, he left before you awoke. <laughs> As is his wont. 
Justinian. Estinian never was one for emotional farewells. Though Zenos bested all before him, the battle clearly took its toll, for he retreated shortly after your rescue. Seeing this, the remaining Imperial forces decided discretion was the better part of valor and pulled back, allowing us to re-establish our position. We have since received word of renewed unrest in the provinces, doubtless inspired by the efforts of the Aeorzean Alliance and our Far Eastern allies. Nor does the good news end there. We have also come into possession of intelligence suggesting unrest within the Imperial Court. This would certainly explain why both the Emperor and Lord Zenos appear to have abandoned the fight. A long-awaited ray of hope in these dark times. Hmm. What of a science? Yet to awake, I'm afraid. But please, concentrate on your own recovery for now. You have carried the hopes of some half dozen nations, and we are all eternally grateful for your efforts. But no one is without their limits, not even you. Leave this fight to us, my friend. You have earned your rest. I'm a man character, no rest and so on. Ah, but before I forget, I was asked to deliver a message as soon as you awoke. A reminder that you are not alone, though many of your allies have fallen. When you are well and rested, you are to return home, where friends will be waiting for you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to the front. May we meet again soon, under happier circumstances. Heartwarming message, wasn't it? Well, this is the most unexpected surprise. I thought you confined to bed. When I heard you had collapsed on the field of battle, I confess I feared for the worst. But with you standing here before me, I see now that the reports of your defeat were greatly exaggerated. Thanks to Fury. As long as we have you, Mr. Shadowstar, history suggests we have a fighting chance. Speaking of fighting, you may be surprised to hear that the war effects can already be felt even here in Ishgard. In anticipation of a need for reinforcements, Atorel will soon be departing from the front lines with a contingent of our finest knights. I would advise you to stay until your strength has returned, but I know it would be an exercise in futility. Indeed, I suspect you have already decided on your next destination. Dark days lie ahead, of that I have no doubt. But the light of hope shall ever guide our steps, so long as we have a will to press onward. And press onward we must. Farewell, my friend. I pray our next meeting will be under happier circumstances.
What? Do I look so bad? By the twelve! I don't believe it! <laughs> I rushed back as soon as I could. I swear, my heart nearly stopped when I heard you'd collapse like the others. What in heaven's name is going on? Yeah, I met that strange voice. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. Oh, well, that's helpful. And what else did he say? The better path leads to him? Hmm... <gasps> if his is the voice you've all been hearing, perhaps the others are with him! Sir Emmerich said the fighting had reached a stalemate, didn't he? But if that monster masquerade in a Xenos comes back... Thancred, Yastola, Orion... Absolutely. And I forbid you from going to face him on your own. Do you hear me? What was that? Uh, you're going to need all of them on your side to defeat him. So if you must leave, go and find the others. Bring them home. As for where to start, you said the stranger had left a beacon for you at the Crystal Tower, right? But how are you to find it, now that the tower has been sealed shut? There has to be a way. If anyone would know, it's Sid and the researchers of St. Koinak's find. Don't you worry, we'll find that beacon for you. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. I pray you have good reason for abandoning the front. How could I remain there while the rumor that my son is possessed by a demon spreads like a sickness here at home? I will not be made to fight for the throne a second time. But what of you? Did you not tell me you would destroy Eorzea's champion with the ease that one might swat a fly? A minor setback. She will not escape me again. Where is your grandsire? I would have words with him. How should I know? Do you hide from each other's sight as well? I imagine he's doing what all Asians do. Hmm. He must have found a way to take advantage of this turmoil. Men are not pawns to be played with, Asian. You underestimate us at your peril. This war will not be decided by you and yours. Man must choose his own fate, and I, for my part, will do all within my power to see Galamald emerge victorious.
pray forgive the intrusion, Your Radiance, but the requested preparations are now complete. We stand ready to begin production of Black Rose upon your order. Great. Weapons of mass destruction. And I guess that was Stormblood. The patch content. Um, this is probably a bit shorter episode, unless, yeah, when you count those credits. It might go normal size, but. Yeah, I guess next time we enter Shadowbringers.